Okay, Rory, so um, in previous years we've started the season slowly, but this season we've won 4-4. Four to four. Uh, How do you feel about that? Uh, look, obviously it's great, and I think it's something... You know, every year you're trying to learn lessons and and you know, finding ways for for us to finally get over this hurdle and and win something. And I think probably the big lesson from last year, you know, we, I thought we finished the season really really well and just came unstuck against a really really good Leinster team that pulled out one of their best performances. But when we look back at it in, in the cold light of day, I think we realised that it was a little bit to do with the start, it was a little bit of maybe the two home losses that we had throughout the season and we actually got ourselves back into being five points off a home semi-final and we were five points off topping the table, you know, so to get that close and to have lost so many points along the way, we kind of felt that, that we needed to look at it and go, well, look, you know, seasons and home semi-finals aren't won and lost by how you do in the last two or three games, it's actually the points you accrue now and, and we put a big emphasis on and look, this is a great bunch of boys to work with and you know I think whenever Les and um, you know the other coaches management Bryn and, and Andrew and Rob you know when they sort of put this idea of really trying to start the season fast you know boys buy into it and you give them a good reason why and, and everyone's just hungry to go out and try to implement those. Um, you recently stepped down as captain how have you found adjusting to that and how have you found Andrew and Rob performing in the leadership role? Look for me it, it's just about I suppose it was, it was the right time for me to, to do that. Um, look, I kind of felt like I didn't want to walk away in two years' time or whatever it'll be um, and just go, right, lads, good luck. Um, I'm out of here, find a new captain. I kind of wanted to be able to impart a bit of my knowledge and a bit of the things that I've learned along the way to try to leave this place in, in as good a I suppose as good a condition as a, as it was whenever I come in, and you always want to try that a little bit. And um, you know, for me, it was about using the fact that I've, you know, I've captained a, a British Lions team, I've captained Ireland, and I've captained Ulster a lot of times, and sort of impart that knowledge onto the sort of next generation coming through. And it was, like I say, it was just the right time for me to do that. I think Ulster are very lucky to have two great captains in there sharing the responsibility. They've they've really gelled and, and worked well together, and and I think. It's been, for me, it's been really easy because they've made it that way. They've asked a little bit of advice, but you know, ultimately they've went and, and done their own thing, which is what they have to do, and they have to experience what works for them and what doesn't, and, and learn a little bit that way, as well as using the fact that you have you know, one of the best coaches about, as well as you know, somebody who's captained Ulster for a few times, and, and I think they're doing that really well. And I think the big thing is, we haven't seen Andrew in the pitch yet, but I think the way Rob has played, um, as well as how he's spoken, you know, he has led by example as well as through his words. We've got Ospreys up this weekend. How big a challenge is that given the quality of the players they're they're fielding? Yeah, look, I think the Ospreys when you every year when you give the rundown of who you think is going to be there, they're about to come the end of the season, they're always a team that, that will be mentioned. You know, they have some real talent in there, they have British Lions and you know, for us it's about making sure that, that we build on the momentum we've we've got so far and to make sure that you know, when you play a team like the Ospreys you've got to start well and um, they're going to come and you know like Valen and Jones and Tipperick and Reese Webb, Dan Bigger you know you, when you think of the, the players they have Sam Davis playing fullback for them at the minute you know they have some real stars and, and for us it's about making sure that that we dictate the play we're at home and um, so they're going to be coming here you know having the, the real card of, of being able to to cause the first loss here this season and you know they have the quality to do it but for us it's about making sure that what we've done so far has been about laying a foundation to keep every week striving to be better and to put in a, a performance that is as fitting of, of the squad we have.